We're here with uh, Formula Legend. Let, yeah. I'll just play it right now. You've really done your homework on it. Thank you. How much, how much preparation did you have to do in order to, to get it running? Well, years of watching Formula One races right. helped. Uh, but the game, total game development was about three months from start to finish. Wow. And what, what led you to create this, this type of game rather than another football one or a rugby one or, or even an ice hockey one in Canada? In Canada? What, what made you make an F1 simulation game? Well, I'd always been into motorsport and I think it's an area that's really lacking in that space. So there's lots of racing games, right. uh, but very little in the way of simulation and management games. The, the amount of detail though is incredible. Like, as you saw, um, like the hairpin challenge, um, yeah. and then using the funds correctly. So, like, ah, I, know, I blew it all on fuel. <laughs> but, but, like, but the longevity of the game. How, how, like, do, could this could this last months or weeks or? Yeah. Well, the theory is that it should last a significant period of time. You can have one one gameplay session can be as short as two and a half minutes. Right. So you can just come in and, and race one race. Yeah. Um, but the idea is you can put it down and come back at any time and then finish off your season. Um, to race a whole season is probably about an hour in length, so you can break that up over a period of time. And there's no end. It is a true simulation, so you can work your way right up the Formula 1 ladder, so to speak. You mentioned earlier on as well that, um, that you start off at the bottom. So you actually get picked out by different, like, the major sort of players. Is that, is that, yeah, is that something yeah. you... So at the start you do a little um, young driver test right? and the outcome of that determines uh, what teams would offer you a job for the season and um, how you perform with them then determines what job offers you might receive for next year. And so the different platforms that this is available on, like we just played it down on PC. What yeah. type of, what other platforms are you looking at? actually to? not on PC, yeah, it's just an emulation. Oh. But it's, um, Forgive my ignorance, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not that much of a gamer that, that much now. Yeah. But, um, but like I'm still learning so, as well. So. Yeah, so it's mobile. Right. So it's on uh, iPad, iPhone, all the different variants, right back to iPad One. Right. So we've made sure that it could support all the way down there. Very good. Um, and uh, all the Android variants as well. So phones and tablets. Layout looks a little different on the on the two. So it's a bit specifically designed for them. So it uses higher res graphics for the larger devices as well. Gotcha. Very good. And to get and so how many tracks are there in total that they, they placed on there? So there's 19, 19 which tracks. are the actual 19 tracks in and, uh, in real and, and they're all in scale as well. That's yeah. fantastic. So the longer tracks uh, are, are actually longer in the game as well. Right. And the tyres wear differently depending on the type of track you're on right. and the type of tyres that um, they would have used at a real race. Weather conditions are they also placing there as well? So if, it, if it's raining, does rain come into to play? That's or? version two, version coming two. soon. Uh, coming soon, yeah. Is the weather. Um, weather engine, right. so um, varying levels of heat can affect the cars a lot, yes. um, plus um, uh, wet weather conditions as well. So like snow as well? Uh, 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 no, they don't race in snow. No, they stop post, when it just post snow, that's it. That's just my knowledge of F1. Yeah. <laughs> that's very good. What about internet integration? Would there be would there be any, would, I, would I be able to play against my friends online? So uh, right now there's integration with uh, kind of leaderboard and achievement integration. So with uh, iOS, there's Game Center, and on the Android side, it's uh, Google Play Game Services. Right. Uh, so you can challenge your friends, and you can see how you compare with other people. Um, another development that we're working on is the ability to actually do like, racing with friends, kind of like words with friends, but racing. So you can do a particular race, you can hand it over to your friend, who then races, and they can see how you went in it, and right. they can compete against you, and then pass it back. Would it be a, a, a more customizable thing, or will you be just um, saying on the on the 19 set courses? Like, would I be able to make my own race course? Uh, at this stage, no. We're good, trying to keep it true to the spirit of it. Very good. And, and just just on a side note, which I'll say, which team do you go for then? Yeah, the one. Uh, Ferrari man or McLaren man? Oh, I'm a Red Bull racer. Red, Red Bull racer. Yeah. Yeah, Mark Webber. Mark Webber. But he's leaving though, isn't he? He is. Yeah, yeah, and that's he is. Vettel now. There's a new Aussie who's going into his seat. Yes, there is. Dan Ricciardo. Young man. Yeah. Anyway, Nathan, thank you very much. Thank you. A brilliant game. And uh, it's, like, it looks, looks like I have to do my own homework on F1. Yeah. But hopefully I'll learn more with this. Yeah. Right, thank you very much.